Hi, this is David, and in this video I'm going to show you how to brand the affiliate review software that you're getting as part of your affiliate tools for the Jolly Facebook Wizard. The file you're going to download is the reviewsoftware.zip. What I suggest you do is that you take a copy of the file and always work with the copy. The reason you want to work with a copy is that because if you always keep this one uh, untouched, it means that you can make as many copies as you need to if you want to do different reviews for the purposes of split testing or whatever. So, let's first of all open up the copy and extract the files. And if we double click that, you'll see that we now have three of the files. So I'm just going to show you what the software looks like first of all. It's the exe file in the middle. Okay, you'll notice a few things. First of all, the title up at the top, the Jolly Facebook Wizard Review. That's something that you can brand if you wish. Got the big header here and two buttons. I think you'll find think I think you'll agree it looks quite nice. Just look my wee character over here. So step number one, watch the video. When you click that, it's going to take it to a YouTube video. By default, it's set at the review video that I shot. Hello, this is David Taylor, and this is the Jolly Facebook Wizard. So feel free to watch that if you want to. You can use that if you wish, but the idea of this is that you will shoot your own review and post it up on YouTube and put the link in here. And then the second button here will go to the site, uh, which will be the Warrior Forum by the time I've got it linked up with JVZoo. At the moment it just goes to the home page and it's within an internal uh, browser. I won't display it at the moment because it isn't actually there. Okay, but it's an internal browser so people can click away, get distracted, that kind of thing. So, these are the things that you're going to be able to brand. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So I'll close that. And if I now open up the brander and double click brander.exe That's why you need to do this in a copy because the brander only works once. Now what this is what will happen here, no items match your search. You have to go up one level to get it to the the file that you want, so click the folder with the green arrow and double click the review.exe. I was going to ask you for two things. Number one, the YouTube video ID and your JVZoo affiliate ID. The product title is something again that you can brand yourself. I'll just show you that. So your own title. Right, so the YouTube video ID is this is the video that I've got. And once you've uploaded your own video here, uh, you'll be able to see that. And the code that you're looking for to insert there is after the V equals, you've got a series of letters and numbers and symbols, and you're coming right up to the ampersand symbol. Okay, so it's everything after V equals and before the ampersand. Okay, so that's what you're going to be copying. There may not be anything after the, the code, but don't include the ampersand. Okay, and that's going to get... That way. It's going to get inserted into this field here. JVZoo Affiliate ID, if you don't know where to find that, go to JVZoo. Up in your account uh, tab, this is an, in your seller's account, your affiliate ID, and that is mine, 8047. And that's where you're going to fill that in there. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can ask for a registration code to be needed. Alright, and that's if you want to build a list of this. Right, so what you're going to do is type a registration code, something memorable. I'll just keep it at three zeros for the moment. And this URL here is going to be
just any page that you've set up to to get subscribers. If you want to open it in an internal browser, click that, and a good size is 1000 by 600. Oh, done the wrong thing. Okay, now that's only if you want to have people uh, opt in for that. The idea, of course, is to get them to just watch the video and then click through your affiliate link. So you may not want to do this, but the option is there for you if you wish. Okay, and then just click Brand. Branding is now complete, so we can close off everything. Head back now, that brander is now useless, so let's get rid of it. And double click and see what's happening. Okay, so it's asking for the registration key. And what will happen is if they don't have a key, you have to press that and go to your squeeze page. Remember I put in Google. That's fine. And once they get their key, the software will open. But again, this is something that you want them to open up, watch the video, visit the site. Not too much, uh, not too complicated. So you may not want to include the branding in that one or for the registration. Okay, you'll notice that up here it now says your own title and the video will be your own and this will be through your affiliate link. Okay, before you put in your affiliate link don't forget to come and uh, request approval for promotion because otherwise your affiliate link won't work. Okay, so that's just one way of uh, using some of the tools that I've given you and all the best of that. Any questions please get in touch, I'll be happy to answer anything you've got. Okay, this is David Taylor and I wish you all the best with that. Bye for now.